In a field tool, we have select shape. It's very important. For example, we draw a simple uh, shape here. Now, as you can see, if you want to change it, rotation or transform it, you can use this tool. But as I said before, before drawing a shapes, you have to change the field and the stroke of that, the color. After that, you cannot change it. As you can see, it does not change. So the first benefit of the this tool, select shape tool, is that you can change, uh, select the shape and change its color. Select it. As you can see, it means this shape, this shape changed to the cheeker and the transparency and <clears throat> It shows you, okay, it's selected. You can change this visual effects like, uh, and check your selection if you want, you can turn it off. And uh, I like it to turn it off, or if you want, you can turn it on. It's, it's, it means it's changing the checker and it shows you, okay, it's selected. It's selected or uh, uh, a simple red line, a red box uh, appear around the shape and you can understand it's selected and after that you can change the color of that here nice <clears throat> okay you can change it or you can change the stroke color or stroke thickness if you with a stroke uh, width if you want so this is one benefit of that okay another benefit of that is this as you can see, we have a layer number one. You can simply click and drag here to activate the renaming, la la layer number one. Here, there are vector. We can create a vector layer number two. We can create vector layer number three. You can turn it off number one. This is a layer number two. This is a layer number two, and it's the center of that. In a layer number two, you can add, uh, for example, the star and you can turn it off. In a layer number three, you can select and create a triangle and turn all of them on. So as you can see, we have a three layer that are in a three different layer, three objects in a three different layer. If you are in a layer three, oh, if you are in, in layer three for moving that, you can just move the objects in layer three and as you can see you cannot change other objects and layers because you have to select other layers select other layers that's it and as you can see for changing the color you can select it as you can see that red box means that's selected and you can change the color or go into the layer three and select the object on in it and change its color and that's it for example, you want to start going uh, all the way back of all of the, that, for example, and you can simply click and drag layer below all of the layers and the layer with thousand objects in it going down. For example, you are in a layer two, you can create uh, another shape in it. That's it. And as you can see, this is a layer, this is a layer. For changing the layer, you have to select the transform layer. As you can see, this is a layer number two that you can mm, <clears throat> insert a lot of shape in it. But this is an individual layer, individual layer. So you're understanding the layering system here. In this case, you can simply uh, click and drag the layer above or below them. And you can see, for example, this triangle go below. Nice. For deleting that, you have to delete it from here. Don't forget delete layer. This is layer number one, and just we have one object here. <clears throat> but if in one layer we create a multi shape, what how we can change them or um, change the um, alignment of them? For example, which uh, shape is above all of them? Which shape is at the bottom of all of shapes i mean uh, for example you can draw a simple ellipse here before drawing simple cho choose a layer and a star as you can see <clears throat> we don't have any multi-layer and all of these shapes are in one layer and how we can select them 
Simply, you can select them here and move them if you want. As you can see, it's very simple. But how we can change the change actually hierarchy of them? For example, I mean, I want to this rectangle um, come uh, all the way up, all of the objects. So this is another benefit of select shape. You can select this shape. You can select this shape. Select this shape. Holding shift. This is one. No. Holding shift and use the arrow key on your keyboard one up. And that's it. It's going up and down. All of objects. This is another benefit of select shape cube. Another benefit of that, for example, you know, uh, for example, this star is uh, below the, this triangle or that ellipse. So we are going most spring, uh, for example, here I know it's the ellipse uh, below that. Holding Alt, select the shape, holding Alt, select the, this shape that all of two shapes are below that. Holding Alt and arrow key. Arrow key down. As you can see, the star is going up. Arrow key down on a ellipse. Ellipse go one step up. One step up. And you can change them if you want. Simple. Hold, uh, select the shape that you want to uh, change the hierarchy based on that. These are important. We, we, we use them a lot. Holding shift to one step forward. It means, for example, if you have a thousand object holding shift and arrow down, that selected object goes all the way down. The zero object at this, it's below all of the objects. Or holding shift, uh, arrow key up, it's go all the way up. But alt, it's changing the hierarchy one step by one. One step by one. Arrow key down, arrow key down, arrow key down. Holding Alt and Shift, don't forget. Because there are multi shape in one layer. In this uh, method, we can use and change the hierarchy of the object. So this is a select shape. We can select shape, but we cannot transfer. You can just select it and change the color of that if you want. So this is important select shape. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.